What's going on, Ernie Winters here, and we're going to be doing another star guide for the Shoe Army story mode, and <clears throat> it's primarily for that star above the first star that says, Defeating all the withdrawing enemies will affect the Battle of Fawn Castle. The other one, the second star, is if chances are, if you're looking at this video, you've done the second star and you just haven't figured out how to kill all the generals in a timely manner, so. It's the Defense of Shoe Province. <clears throat> shoe province with the shoe army story mode so let's get in here play stage we're gonna put on beginner <clears throat> and I'm just gonna show you an effective way to defeat them quickly and pretty much you're just gonna need some musu meters maybe one you could use two three you could save them all up if you want it's it's really up to you <clears throat> but I can usually catch up to them with just one musu meter on the horse I sh actually should have said that. The Musu meter on the horse. You just talk to Guan Yu, get the thing started. And all the missions in a start, just do every mission at the start of the mission. And uh, <clears throat> you'll, you'll, know, you'll know when the attack's going to start, when they start retreating. <clears throat> Pretty much as soon as you save Guan Yu, about 30 seconds after you save Guan Yu, Goju is going to gonna start the escape. So for right now, just kill any general you see here. Let's clear the base out. Here is Yujin. All right. Byung Z. All right. Kill him. Just do all these beginner missions. <clears throat> really, we're just waiting for a timeline here. There we go. Let's advance. All right. Here we go, and we're just going to keep defeating generals out here just because, well, why not? There's a general down here to the south I'd like to defeat. There we go. And while I'm down here, let's see if I can get this uh, hidden general to spawn in. If not, then I'll just leave him. <coughs> he usually spawns in this little area here. Nothing. Oh, he is here. Nope, nope. It's a different guy. Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's advance. There should be some generals over here as well. So that's how reinforcements are arriving. Awesome. Our timeline is starting to kick in now. You guys get out of my way. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm probably gonna kill these two generals over here to make it easier for my troops. Let us head for the boulder devices. So over here, there's two generals in here to activate the boulders. As soon as they're dead, the boulders will activate and start crushing the enemies. There you go. They're all gone. And now start heading to the north of the map. Because you're going to have an objective up there. Reinforcements are going to spawn into the north. They're unable to advance. Good. Alright. Here we go. And it's best to wait for them to come here. Wait over here. Let them come here so you don't have to run away too far. Because if you defeat them too early, you're going to be like way out of position to uh, get back inside your base and do the other objectives. So wait till those two generals go there and attack you at your base here by these steps. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. We're going to be getting started now. They're already giving each other positions to go to. We're gonna sit here and sit tight, wait for the enemies to get here. <clears throat> Reason being is if I kill them in there, then I have to run all the way through here. And I mean, they're gonna come over here anyway, and it's just gonna benefit my speed anyway as I uh, kill them and just run straight through here. So let's wait for them a little bit. <clears throat> Once they're by these steps, we'll kill them.
And as soon as you're done killing these generals, it will say, we must save Guan Yu or something along those lines. And you're going to go and save him. And as soon as you save him, run straight to Jang Fei's location. Like immediately, just get straight over there. And here we go, Xu Huang. He was the only general here. And let's go, let's get to Guan Yu now. It's better to stick to the wall so you don't run into soldiers and uh, stop your horse's uh, advance. If you guys have been running on horses, you know, if you know you run on horses for too long and you run into people. Let me, let me rephrase that. If you know you run into people for too long, your horse just like freezes after a while. It just like stops in place. <clears throat> so let's save Guan Yu. Alright. He's dead. Immediately get to Jang Fei. We have to get to Jang Fei's location ASAP now. And they brought more reinforcements. And those reinforcements are going to move up just a little bit. Let's get over here to where Jang Fei is. Alright, here's Jang Fei. This little secret general is going to pop out now. <clears throat> I don't know if killing him is uh is necessary but i just do it anyway and as soon as it says ladders are set up awesome jump down here because goju is gonna send a letter out bam and you need to like race to get to those guys all the way at the end because if you see where the hell they are they are and you this is a good time to use your musu right here and we need to get in front of these guys here they're not gonna outrun my horse so we should be fine Boom. All right. And what I like to do is my Raging Musu here, which will kill every single one of the generals here. All right. And we're not done yet. There's still two generals on their way over here. They happened to, they were at the catapults. So we're going to sit tight and just wait for them because I don't want to advance into the boulders. They might stun me and they might run away, run past me somehow. So we're going to wait here for these last two generals to come in and then we can head north and end the stage. <clears throat> Let's see if I can actually meet up with these guys. No, you know what? We're going we're gonna to play it safe. We'll wait for them here. I don't want the boulders to beat me up and uh, possibly beat me down here. All right, there we go. And the reinforcements are officially all defeated now. Every single one of them are defeated. Get your horse and let's head on back. Stick to the walls so the boulders have a less of a chance of hitting you. Because believe it or not, the boulders will actually knock you off your horse as well. And I like to go to the fire attack to the north first because there's so many up there. They overwhelm my uh, my general up there. So let's go. Let's head on up here. And right here, you can't really call your horse right now because he's still on the map, on your mini map. So he'll just get stuck on the ladder. As soon as you pass this area right here, call him and he'll appear up here along with you. And he should catch up with me soon. I have a pretty slow horse. I think I have the chestnut or something. Maybe the maple. I don't really know which horse I have, but I just <clears throat> just know that it's a very slow one. And I like, like I said before, I go to this one up here because it's so much closer to ent entering my base. And I want to make sure they don't exactly get in here. As you can see, they're they're moving on in. They got Guan Yu by the door. I I don't like that. So we're just gonna eliminate these guys. Eliminate the troops. The little fire troops. Okay. There we go. These troops are all dealt with now. There we go. And now we're going to go head to the middle there and help out uh, Zhang Fei. And once you help them, just finish the stage and you're done. You'll have your star. Um, sadly... Oh my god, there's so many troops. Get out of the way. There we go. But... <clears throat> Sadly, uh, there's no, you know, additional video or extra dialogue that I'm aware of. Just all I all I really know for a fact is that 
you need to uh, defeat the troops and every single troop that said defeat them while they were withdrawing as long as you defeat them you're good to go and stop the uh, the fire attack so now we're gonna go head into their base over here um, <clears throat> you would think going this way uh, first and then going to the north to kill the fire troops is more convenient if you're able to pull it off go for it I just do it out of you know for the fact that I feel like the other ones might make it in while I'm going for this easier one and I don't want to even give them the chance of uh, possibly burning my place down and I'm failing my star, my star mission. So we're going to head up here. And we're just going to run past this person. Who cares about this general? He can go screw himself. We're going to use a Musu meter to get over here as well. Get a little faster. Only thing I don't like about the, using the Musu meter, it does like go to a super slow, like it just stops out of nowhere there. But, you know, things happen. So let's just run right past these guys and let's just go defeat Gogia. If you want more XP, feel free to defeat these guys. Seriously. And I'm going the wrong way. It's in here. Alright. <clears throat> And once you defeat him, the stage will be over. And if you want to ensure that you have the star, you definitely should have the star. You did defeat the reinforcements. Um, just go to story mode and click stage select and take a look at it. You should have your two stars there. Or you should at least have the defeating, defeating the uh, reinforcements before they withdraw star. And then the other one is much easier. You just allow them to escape and that's it. If, uh, if you guys found this guide to be helpful, be sure to leave, uh, leave a like, let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Hopefully I catch you guys on the next one. See ya.